It was five years ago on this day that a Mandela journalist, Kareem Clark, was murdered. Last night was a restless night for me because I knew it was going to be five years today. Clark was on his bicycle when he was shot multiple times at the corner of Lakeview and Vernon Streets. The murderer pounced in the wee hours in the morning when the unsuspecting 27-year-old journalist was riding home after a long day's work. The news of his murder was shocking, and like five years ago, his family still doesn't know why he was killed. Did you ever learn why is it they killed Karim? <laughs> I got no idea, because everything was on his person. Um, because... Because when I, because I was the one that went and identified him, everything was on him. Phone, everything. The, the uh, tape recorder, the keys. He didn't have any money on him. Make no mistake, Clark was the target. His killer was waiting for him and knew where and when to strike. That killer was first suspected to be Mark Waite who was arrested and charged when he was a minor. In 2019, he stood trial but was freed of the charge after the main witness first failed to appear. And when she did, she told the court that he was high on weed on the night of the murder. And police convinced her to give a statement and cooperate in exchange for the drug she had been busted with. To make matter worse, her statement was not allowed and Justice Williams upheld a no-case submission. Well, I got to know in the evening when the news came that this guy walked off. And the circumstances, what I heard, that wasn't um, a case really put together because... The, the evidence was apparently there. They said they had the gun, they had this and that. And I don't know how comes the case was thrown up because they apparently they bribed some lady to say that, that they saw this young man kill my brother. But, and I don't know. <laughs> she, was, she said that at that time she may have been smoking marijuana so her thoughts were incoherent and, and clear. Yes, yes, that's what I heard. It's frustrating for the family, that particular part of the case, and with the persecution and the justice of the peace, and that statement not being written down correctly. Yes, yes, I was very upset about it, especially after when um, Commissioner Chester Williams says, we know exactly who killed Karim, and there is no kind of justice. There wasn't any justice at all. There apparently is there no justice in Belize. People have come up to us and told us the real story, what happened. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.